Welcome to Paranormal Headline News. I'm your host, Bonnie Vent. Here are your top stories. Back from the bread, bakery haunted by ghost called Charlotte. Is the Taj Mahal Hotel in Mumbai haunted? Brought to you by Genesis Creations Entertainment, who's excited to announce their DVDs are now available for rent and download on Amazon.com for as little as $1.99. Search Bonnie Vent on Amazon.com for details. A ghost of a girl called Charlotte has returned from beyond the grave to haunt a bakery, its staff insists. Spooked employees of the Plaxtall Village Bakery in Petswood, southeast London, claim to have witnessed the specter causing havoc by throwing bread and trays around. They have even provided a photo which they say shows the presence having spelled out the first few letters of her name in castor sugar. They believe the spirit could be that of a youngster killed by a V-2 rocket that slammed into the area during the Second World War. Manager Louise Martin said, The first time one of us encountered the ghost, it was in the summer. It came into the shop and there were trays all over the floor. I went into the back and a colleague of mine was there. He was crouched on the ground shaking, so I asked him, What's wrong? He said the trays had been thrown off the racks all on their own. I couldn't believe it, but it has happened again three or four times since then, and I have seen it. She is friendly. She doesn't mean any harm. She's quite mischievous, but really we think she just wants to make her presence known. Maybe she's trying to send us a message. The name of the spirit is believed to be Charlotte after the letters C-H-A were found eerily spelled out in Castor Sugar one day when nobody had been around. The bakery's new owner has not been frightened away by the girl. He said, just the other day after the snow, I came in early in the morning around 6.30 a.m. As I approached the back door, I noticed there were small footprints in the snow. The footprints led up to the back door, and then they disappeared. There were no footprints going off in another direction. The door was locked, so I couldn't understand what had happened. We figured because the size of the footprints, she must be a little girl. The Taj Mahal Palace Hotel in Mumbai is known for more reasons than one. It bore the brunt of the terror attack of 2611, yet re-emerged gallantly renovated. One of the most luxurious five-star hotels in India, it has a deep-rooted past. As rumor has it, some believe that the architect who designed the hotel killed himself in the building as the design for the palace did not go according to the plan. Many have witnessed the ghosts of a head architect still wandering in the corridor. Here are some very interesting facts about the Taj Mahal Palace Hotel in Mumbai. After being barred from entering the Watson Hotel that was meant only for whites, the architect decided to build a hotel for himself and his countrymen in answer to the insult he felt. It was open for guests on December 16, 1903. During World War I, the whole building was turned into a 600-bed hospital to treat the injured and victims. Steel used to make the dome of the Taj Mahal Palace Hotel is the same as the steel used to build the Eiffel Tower in Paris. It is the first hotel in India to use electricity and to install and operate steam elevators. And it's the only first hotel of India to import American fans, German elevators, Turkish baths, and English butlers. It took 12 months to restore the damage at a cost of $91 million and was reopened on August 15, 2010. Thanks for joining us today on Paranormal News. For more information on these stories, please go to www.sdparanormal.com and the Paranormal News feed page. Don't forget, sign up for a free subscription to Paranormal News. If you'd like to sponsor or advertise on Paranormal News, please send us an email at paraxnews at aol.com or join us at bonnievent.com. Until next time, I'm your host, Bonnie Vent.